I'm excited. I fuck. I love Christmas, man. I love Christmas. I'm okay with it. Merry Christmas, to you, man. You too. I don't know what to say when people are like, so "Merry Christmas, just, Happy Holidays." I'm like, say, just you say too. it back, dude. I have you to say it so less sincere. I have to say it 150 times a day to customers, and it's to the point where I'm like, "You too." Like I feel, I'm like working those the days. Disappointed wife, you came home from work, <laughs> and I'm like, "Honey, I'm trying to be sweet to you." Here's some cookies. I don't want damn cookies. I have cookies. I make cookies. I don't want any cookies. cookies. I make cookies. <laughs> gingerbread. They're yummy. Not a gingerbread man, anyway. So. Ginger Snaps Scrooge. is a good movie, but nah, not Ginger Bread. Um, men, I actually don't think I've had one. Are like, Ginger Snaps an actual treat? I they don't are know. right. The movie. I'm is. assuming they are. Actually, it is. It's kind of a hidden gem, but I think yeah. like, I think it's just a cookie, right? Isn't that what a Ginger Snap is? I think so. Ginger Snap is that one of the Num Num Girl Scout cookies? I've never had a Ginger Snap Girl Scout cookie. Comment are below there? with your Girl Scout ideas and thoughts. <laughs> it's Send it's us our a holiday box. special. <laughs> And the, the, the chat's just filled with <laughs> good old scout cookie Best idea. Best girl scout to me, it's thin mints, man. Thin mints all day. 100 percent Don't the you other say those could... weird coconut things, whatever those coconut things are called. anything is gross. I can't I can't do coconut. It's not it's, it's not bland, my it tastes like water. Water's gross and boring. Who cares about it? Unless the water is liquid death, if you want to be a sponsor, just saying. That would be tight. I'll drink liquid death. That could be you, Liquid Death. <laughs> Fucking A. Uh, I'm so excited. This is our third annual holiday special. Each and every one requested by you guys, our killer fans. Oh, yeah. We love y'all so much. Happy holidays to everybody. I'm super excited. It's so funny that we're doing this for our special. My daughter just came home. My baby was uh, home from school. She's telling me, like, she just learned about Hanukkah. I'm like, that's so funny because we're about to do a Here, holiday watch special. This. What, tell her to watch our episode. I was no, I don't think we're not even a curse. I don't think it's we're a not child's. Curse. Are we gonna do this? Fuck friendly? No. <laughs> you ruined it, man. It's the holiday. What's the matter with you? All right, you try. I won't to not curse. Yeah, just tell to show your kid. I that curse you... in front of my child. What are you oh, that's about? true. Yeah, yeah, we all do. Dad of the year. <laughs> But yeah, it's holidays, funny, I don't know. I always work them, so I don't really care. My baby got me this. It's called, it says World's Greatest Dad. I drink it so proudly. <laughs> I'm going to get one that says Daddy, though. Ooh, I almost, I should have, oh, I forgot. I have another mug that says Daddy Claws on it. She also got it for me. That's hot. Not don't that your kid ever, gave you ever, a fucking mug ever that says say that. It's hot about my daughter. <laughs> I wasn't even. you. Anyways, breaking news: Stephen gets murdered and skinned alive this holiday season. Tight, my gift came early. <laughs> you, you are a Hellraiser fan, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, we have such sights. Did you hear to that show bone you. crack? So nice. That was your bone. Yeah, that was my ankle. Nice bone. Oof. Speaking of bone, cock socks now available. <laughs> we have cock socks. Kings of Kill Podcast.com. Easy way to support the show. Check out some merch. We got cups. We got mugs. We got sweaters. We got socks. We got cool stuff. Or you can help donate just 99 cents a month. Keep us. Do you know, that instead. <laughs> do stuff, you know, whatever you want to do. We appreciate you listening, whether you're on Spotify, YouTube, kingsfieldpodcast.com. It doesn't matter. Thank you, killers, for joining us. Another year down. They're down? Did you say? Another year down. Oh, I thought you said. What's it? down? Thanks, killers. I know you're down. I'm like, no, I don't want anyone to be down. down. I want everyone What's be... up? We're down. You oh. can't be down when we're talking about what we're talking about. Steven, come on, man. What are we talking about? Yeah. Rugrats Passover episode. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hope you do that. I'm not. Do it. No, do it. <laughs> do the magic. It's Christmas magic. All right, Christmas. This is it. This episode was dope. First of all, I absolutely love Rugrats. Yes, it's, it's a great fantastic. show. The art, everything about it. Great art style. Great stories. Absolutely delightful. Everything about it. Everything from season one to three is amazing. Everything after that. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's a lot. Of I didn't like the writing. <laughs> well, that's that's the problem. So Okay, so you see in the intro. It's As a by, kid, I'm like, this writing sucks. You see that Klasky, uh Supo. I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. But you see that in the Don't intro. Don't even know those words. It's. Well, two a couple, uh, uh, two married people had an idea for this. They pitched it to um, a writer they knew, 
um, who does animation. And nice. uh, the three of them together. So it's uh, uh, Gabrick Supo, butchering it, so sorry. Uh, Paul Germain and Arlene Klasky. Klasky and Supo, they're a couple, right? Sure. Uh, Klasky is, uh, was pregnant, having a kid. She's like, thinking about babies a lot. I got need for cartoon. Hit up Jermaine, right? And they've already been, sure did. they're all in the industry. <laughs> I do research, so come on. <laughs> they all do. Uh, so they're all in the industry. Uh, they they kind of helped get uh, the Simpsons started, or at least some of the crew to start, you know? Got it. Um, Jermaine pitches Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon loved it. They got approved, the three of them, to tag team it. Jermaine's going to write. Uh, Supo and Classic are the creators. Sign up for 65 episodes, and they just start arguing. There's there's issues about uh, they're just fighting. They're even giving each other like talking shit about each other's parenting styles in real life. Like <laughs> they can't agree with whether it should be cutesy or serious or dramatic. Before all six five episodes were like packaged and delivered, uh, they were already fighting in like in legal court. It's so sad. And then there's like a there's like so many huge breaks and then different characters and stuff. It's because Jermaine took off, sick of it. They had a big lawsuit. And uh, they're not allowed to speak about what the how hell? the show actually ended. Rugrats has some dark backgrounds behind Speaking it. Speaking of dark backgrounds, man, it gets even darker, dude. So there's With like Hanson's these... hankering. <laughs> Our video sponsor. <laughs> if you want custom fire roasted coffee delivered to your door, Hanson's hankering.com. Dude, we got holiday boxes that we're giving out. Like literally you can order a we whole are. peppermint mocha kit. What? Yeah, you can do the whole thing. I'll give you a sample for you. A little, little pep moke? A pep moke. Nice. Smoking the pep. It's my favorite. It's my favorite one. <laughs> That's wild background, though. I didn't know any of that because I didn't do my research. That's all right. That's all right. That's why we're a tag team. Exactly. I watch you fucking read. <laughs> I, I do watch. I'm not even allowed to watch the <laughs> yeah. films. I just have Shut to like, read the, the transcript. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> so there's this really dark theory where... It's it's insane. It's there's a dark theory that no one's confirmed. I think it's total bullshit. It's just one of those conspiracy theories that like spread on the internet. But get this, this is so disturbing. So the theory is that the writer's best friend named Angelica, when that person was a child, lost her siblings and relatives Ooh. and invented. Happened. reinvented them back to life in her mind and okay. this is the story that poor young angelica recreated her dead friends and family and this is the story this is a fact no it's not yes it's it is just, it's just it's, it's a theory we made it up it's a theory it's fact or fiction. I love doing that. I don't know if you guys have checked it out, but we're going over uh, uh, Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction hosted by Jonathan Franks. It's super funny. We've done two episodes so far. I'll record it more. <laughs> I got to edit. You do great. I appreciate you editing. Your edits are hilarious. Um, I love Rugrats. It's so fun. They got a banger soundtrack. Amazing. Let me play the movie song. That one's way better. Take me back or take me there. Like you only afford with Nas, Nala, or whatever. How many copyrights are we gonna fight? Like in one episode, all uh, of them. All we'll of them. We'll take them all down. It's Christmas. Forgive us, fuckers. You're so brave. You're as brave as Chucky when he said, "I'm a big brave dog. I'm a big brave dog." <laughs> <laughs> I love Chucky. He's my boy. I love Chucky. Chucky's He's the favorite so cool. for him. Um, I mean, yeah, Tommy's awesome, uh, but well, yeah, you can't ever like the best guy or best character in the. Sometimes thing. when something boring when that happens, super famous, super awesome, yeah. like everyone says, yeah, it's like all the Patriot fans the are like, oh, they're the best team, and then they sucked, and everybody's like gone until Brady left. <laughs> until Brady left, now, um, Belichick's looking extra pissed, even more than normal. Dude, he looks like he goes to the buffet a lot, and they're out of everything he wants. <laughs> That's what Belichick looks. <laughs> That's like. the face. <laughs> they're just empty shelves and <laughs> yeah and he just lo- he just looks like he's looking through that that glass protector or whatever the sneeze protector 
and then everything's empty. Okay, so I love me a good salad bar, but I cannot stand a poorly angled sneeze guard. Like one that's just right here, and you just can't even get oh, the yeah. arm in there. Yeah. You have to do you gotta do like the dip in the end to like even get up. No, I'd just be like, hey, can you come on. grab this? Yeah, <laughs> put it on my plate. Obviously, my plate. <laughs> put it on that guy's plate. <laughs> It's on me. Hey, excuse me. That guy <laughs> wants more croutons. All this food is on me. <laughs> That's how you celebrate. Hell yeah. I go to the buffet and everybody, all the food is on me. Well, yeah, me. but you're just buying one plate for every person. It's not even like that. That'd be the best place to like spoil people. So tight. Oh, man. I'm a good guy. Um, You are a good guy. You're nope. a good boy. All right, let's not go that far. Are you on the naughty list or the nice oh, 100%. list? 100%. Um, no, I'm still in the middle. I'm like... Santa makes a choice, dude. I'm right in the- well, How does your dial work? It just splits? It splits both ways. You're so fast and furious. It just- yeah, <laughs> my car is like either on empty or it's full. It's just like both ways. There's no in between. We don't know. No. Um, you ever I, I those, think like, I've been good this year. I don't remember. One of those tachometers that just like are loose. <laughs> yeah, they're just right. like, what the fuck? <laughs> How much money are you putting into this? Um... Yeah, I've been all right this year. Nothing dumb happened to me. I think so, actually. Nothing dumb happened. A lot of dumb th- things happened. Do you think is that how like Santa determines if you're good or bad? Oh, uh, that's just, stupid. Like, you're that's dumb. I'm writing that down. <laughs> that was stupid of you. Dumb. Love this time of year. I love Rugrats. They were a big part of my childhood. They really were, especially that original chunk of episodes. And the reason Rugrats went nuts and really boosted of views from Nickelodeon. The owner of Nickelodeon decided they were going to. Uh, it's like the face. They got sixty five. Huh? Rugrats is like the face of Nickelodeon. It was it for 90s. sure at that time. It definitely was. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was their strongest show by far. Probably their most well known for sure. Uh, the guy that actually left, the writer that left, went on to create Hey Arnold. Also a really good show. <laughs> That's a big staple, too, like five years after Rugrats. Rugrats is actually super successful until SpongeBob hit. So that's like a decade. True. Dude. That's yeah. like a decade of magic. SpongeBob's that's a, been out for fucking years. It's like a years. Hulk Hogan title reign, man. Yeah. You're yeah. with me for all that. <laughs> yeah. The light bright jacket, the, the decorations. What's Hulk Hogan got in the play? Mr. Nanny. You know something, brother? I'm going to watch Suburban Commando after this. Ooh, that's a goodie. That's a goodie. Amazing. Three out of five. You struggle with that? I can't get it a five out of five. <laughs> I want to know your average rating. You rate like 16 things per episode, I feel like. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, that'd be cool if I had a whole list at the end of the... It would be, but I know you're not going to do it. No, That's way too much research. No. It'd be so cool. Five if you out just... of five, no. What you can do is just find credits to anything and scroll around. <laughs> and as long as it's super fast, no one's going to be able to Bubbly's. read it. <laughs> Bubbly's drinking. Oh my god! I absolutely love this. I I can't get enough Rugrats. In fact, I haven't seen Rugrats in so long. I've just been having. I played the Passover episode and just let it go. So the last then. time I watched this was like four or five years ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Wild time when I watched that, but this time I watched it. And it was amazing. The the movie, the first movie they made, was absolutely that was that was a gut wrench, man. That it was, was a heavy really movie. good. Look but also, beautiful. it was dark as hell. It was great. I absolutely love it. Some sad moments. Reptar is like, I think Reptar is Gordon Godzilla. Don't fucking do that. That's it wrong. Is. I can have an opinion. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Reptar is not cooler. God, God if you grinch. put Reptar up to Godzilla. Oh, you emphasize the God so much. <laughs> Godzilla <laughs> to Reptar. Are you more Godzilla or Kong? Oh, but, Kong. So you say I'm Kong. Godzilla, like Christopher fucking Walken. Kong. Do you, you would you say? Oh, not King. <laughs> the King Small. King Kong. <laughs> no, I don't even King Kong. I don't even King. He's just Kong. He's Kong. You know, Kong is everybody like a knows toy he's for dogs. You put like king. peanut butter and shit in there. The hell? <laughs> Bestiality or something? No, it's bestiality. Call it King Kong. No, it's Kong is a toy, a dog's chew toy, and you ask me if. I was in the bestiality. Was I sweet to pups? What the 
What's the matter with you? I don't know. That's what Santa's checking his list, and you never watch Rugrats again. Left and right. Never say that. <laughs> Rugrats is phenomenal. Let's get into the. I episode. watched a couple episodes so, after this. Actually, it's it great. I like the amazing. ones where like Tommy gets lost at school. By the way, every parent is total shit. Nightmare parent. No yeah. one pays attention. They lose their children. All there the time. are there are age in that show. So yeah, it totally makes sense. I relate. I'm just, gonna watch my kid forever. <laughs> Here's a screwdriver. Have fun. Basically. Basically. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like a grandpa now. There's another dark theory where uh, Stu Pickles, Tommy's dad, right? Yeah. Um, the reason. Drug he, dealer. Well, no. The, the, like, the reason he spends so much time in the basement <laughs> making these toys and how, like, he gets sad in several episodes of stress, several episodes. Probably lost a kid. It, Jeez. <laughs> no. It's Previous Christmas. marriage. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> is because. The theory is, is that his brother, who has plenty of money, right? Yeah, he's way more successful. It's because he Mom handles all the lawsuits for toy accidents from Stu. Oh, shit. How dark is that, dude? Awesome. All right, let's get into the episode. It oh, starts yeah. off with that bitch Angelica in the car talking shit to her parents. We don't give a shit. We're filthy rich. Something about her mom's, like, lady business suit. Super hot. Love it. Sure. She I'm reminds me of like the mom in like Home Alone, that that woman that plays that the actress. Does she? In the yeah. That's who that reminds me of. Because of like Shit's Creek. Because they're all irresponsible. Like Shit's Creek. Well, yeah. I've never seen it. What? I haven't. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal show. Um, but yeah, it starts off car ride, probably already boring for the kid because I hated car rides. Angelica's all like, like, can I have some cookies? And her mom's like, no bread before dinner. And she's like, there's no bread and cookies. I mean, that's kind of a valid point from a kid's perspective. I thought they can't eat bread at all during this. They can't because it's Passover. Jesus. Or I don't know what the actual rules are, but I think either before dinner or something. But um, yeah, I don't know the whole rules. But yeah, this literally taught me about. Oh, yeah. Everything I I know about the Passover is because of this. I've never learned anything (laughs) before or after. No. Every time someone's like, you want to go to Passover? I'm like, oh, my God. Keep the doors so unlocked. Anyways, they're, they're getting <laughs> together for their holiday tradition. Uh, grandma and grandpa have a fight. Grandma's all upset because she thinks do that. her man walked out on her after, like, a 50-year marriage or whatever. Turns out he's just locked in the attic Chevy Chase style, like, in Lampoon's Christmas. Didn't that happen to him? Yeah. For, like, 10 minutes. Probably based off this. Um. Anyways, it's based on this episode that came out like eight years went later. Back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the running gag. Like the kids get in there and the parents get in there. and They're all leaving the table. Don't close that. Yeah. Door. And it just keeps happening. And so grandpa's t- like explaining the, the traditional history. Yeah. And he's getting rudely interrupted from. by another family member. God damn it. So annoying. <laughs> it is annoying, isn't it? <laughs> So, it's so annoying when people it's interrupt. Sweaty. It's crazy. Our entire show is us <laughs> interrupting each other nonstop. And uh, anyway, so he tells the story of, of, of Moses. And of course, Tommy Pickles is Moses. Angelica, of course, because he's a total jerk, is like an evil pharaoh, right? Yeah. It's heavy, though. They're in, like they're talking about slavery and shit. Like, damn. It's, it's controversial episode. It's crazy. Um I fact checked a lot in this episode, and, and did you look and and you know they do mess some things up. They said there's only like five rats when there's ten, because you can't really show that there's like a sacrifice of the firstborn. You can't have that in Rugrats, you know. Um, what? Yeah, I don't think that happened. Not in the episode, but they in the episode the grandpa's like, yeah, there's like there's five rats. Ooh, that was a that was a good grandpa. <laughs> Let me tell you about the. No, I'm not gonna do that the whole time. Um, you just pass out from lack of yeah. oxygen. <laughs> you have to get woozy. But yeah, uh, he says there's like five, but there's like ten. But like, there's not even ten commandments in the thing. There's only one tablet. Fact check, bro. Scan researches. I got schooled, man. I got schooled. <laughs> and yeah, <sighs> he says the pharaoh found the baby. Bullshit. The daughter found it. I learned that from Prince of Egypt. So I did learn something. 
Wow, I'm really impressed. You actually <laughs> you actually know a lot about this that I had no idea. I'm so unprepared. That was really cool. All right, cool. I'm down. I'm totally down. Yeah, Passover. It's 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 really cool. Anyways, like towards the end, uh, uh, they realize uh, Grandma realized Grandpa never took off. He just got lost. And then it's like, hey, time for the tradition. You need to tell the story of the table. He's like, I just told the story. Let's eat some food. Oh, yeah. Stu's trying to do it. He's just so miserable. He's, He's like, <laughs> Moses went down the river. So uh, awkward. He uh, hates it. He hates it. I hate how Grandpa Joe. <laughs> what's the grandpa's name? I don't think it's Joe. No, that's from Charlie the Chocolate Grandpa Factory. Joe. What? <laughs> Grandpa Joe. We're going to call Lou? Lou Pickles? No. Yeah, Grandpa Lou. Grandpa Lou. Yeah. So they went Stu, Lou, Tom. <laughs> and don't call him Tom. Tom Pickles. No, he's not Tom. It's like when he's 35, they call Moses him Tom. Moses is played by Tom Pickle, great actor. <laughs> Tom Pickle, not Tommy Pickles. It's Tom it's Pickle. Tom Pickle, yeah. Tom Pickle starring in. As Moses. <laughs> Mo- Passover. Tom Pickle in Moses. <laughs> it's great. It's going to be a hit. It was a hit. Um, but yeah, this played for a long time. Like reruns and reruns. It would play well, for like three weeks here was straight the strategy. on Nickelodeon. It was the strategy is they had 65 episodes originally. Great. So that's enough to, to never repeat a single episode playing it every single day for two months and change. So they did that and then did it again and did it again. And Fucking wild. it just got to the point where like every kid could see almost every episode they wanted to just by tuning in. Kind of a good strategy. It is. It's yeah. Cause they automatically have those already purchased. Like, they, they own bought, them. They, they own them. They're finished. They yeah. Check. Yeah. That's smart as hell. Maybe we should have done that. <laughs> Just record hell Having episodes and then up and then try we're to... done. <laughs> Our horror news is just so old. The movies already came just out six years ago. <laughs> we watched nothing new. <laughs> it's 80 slashers and only 80 slashers. That's great. It's going to log on to Tubi and just like, all right, this is all we got. It's like a great idea, actually. Um, my favorite scene. So, like, it's all flashbacks. You know, they're just Angelica's portraying. It's the classic Rugrats tale. Like, they, yeah, they do the flashback, or they go into like an alternate fantasy where, like, most of it's based on the kids being confused. You yeah. know, and so they're trying to figure something out, and it's either scary, and they're learning a lesson, or trying to work together. You know, it's always some big adventure. I love when the babies like. I love how they mispronounce words all the time with more commonly known like young people words Shit, i don't yeah. fucking know it's hilarious they fuck it up it's cute <laughs> but i i like my favorite scene and it fucking kills me every time is when uh tom pickles and chuck is like talking to pharaoh angelica and she decided to go back on her word to not let their people go she, yeah. and, he, and she was <laughs> she like was i was gonna, just joking she agreed to let her don't you go believe me and until, he, like, he just was like get cereal or something yeah yeah, that's it. And she's like, "No, I was only joking. Now, do you believe me? I'll let. I'll give you my word. I'll let you people go." And he just has a stare, like, "What the fuck?" Here it is. But um, it's so fucking. It's my favorite part of the whole thing. So, you know what is that super one look? Funny I'm like is that boom, uh, amazing. So the enslaved people aren't the Jewish people; they're babies, right? That's the that's the yeah that's the the cutesy way of covering such a tragic tale. Yeah. Right? So. <laughs> So in it, Tommy Moses is a hero, but he's a baby, and no one knows he's a baby because his bald head is covered by a blanket. I'm Must sure be it's 40. not called that; it's something different. But like, so the oppressors, the people that Angelica have ruling over these people, are like six months older than the babies, and they're like yeah. ruling over them. And then like Tommy's thing fell off because he's like defending Chucky, right? And he's like, oh, my God, baby. Just from like, that's a baby. I thought you were a 35-year-old man. Big fucking O'Doyle baby. <laughs> O'Doyle rules. <laughs> Guarding Angelica. No, that shit's funny. And like the. It, it's weird watching like a baby, not a baby show, but like babies portray something that we've like known. Like, have you well, seen? That's the premise of every like, single rugby. Commandments is an amazing movie. And then there's like, you know, Prince of Egypt and shit. And then you got this. Tom Pickles portraying Moses. Love it. Love it. Split in the seas. And that CGI this was, actually was the- so good. They used $60 million and a c- CGI experts to do this. It's hand this drawn wave. and animated. Amazing. What are you talking about? I don't know. 
you're a dirty liar. This movie was I wild. love the animation style. Uh, I really do. I love the Rugrats. The cinematography was great. The it's, exterior no shots cinematography. were it's... inspired by Wes Anderson and Ridley Scott. And they just being a punk. And then they use those shots. Michael Bay <laughs> reused those shots in reviewer. Transformers 7. And it's it's bullshit. He needs to be outed. <laughs> All the exterior shots reused in Transformers. Check it out. Watch Transformers. <laughs> Don't watch Transformers. <laughs> There's another Transformers. This time they're doing the Beast Wars thing. Yeah, finally. Beast Wars was cool. I said that fucking Beast Wars thing. was awesome. That intro was sick. Everything about it. The Jaguar was neat. That was my favorite. It one. was a Jaguar. I don't know the Maybe name, was but I I remember when we're going to school. Like my dad's like, get the fuck in the car. I'm like, all right, dad, and. Probably real words, and then probably really real quoted. No, um, and I remember it being on the TV, and it was like the intro. And I'm like, damn it! And I never really watched the series. I always saw the intro every fucking day. I, I barely watched the that series. Maybe starts at like the Rico's Roughnecks. That was always on in the morning. Was that what it was called? Yeah, and that was like a Donkey Kong show too. Yeah, I remember There's that. Like yeah. some weird animated things. It was we, like CGI. We skipped yeah. out on so much cool shit to go learn about bullshit. And we didn't even. It's your hot take on school. We don't even remember anything about school, right, no, guys? No. <laughs> we didn't learn anything, huh? Uh, short out. Uh, I gotta give a little shout out to some of the voice talent, like Elizabeth Daly, uh, Christine Cavadon, Nancy Cartwright, uh, Kathy Susie, Cheryl Chase, Nancy Cartwright. It's just Lisa Simpson. Yes. And a lot of other voices. You said it like she was a snack, though, and I got like. Well, jeez, I don't do that at all. Crazy. Nope, not me. <laughs> You're ruining Christmas. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the best grandpa. How about that? Um, but no, I've this Passover one's probably the most I've seen of Rugrats, besides the one where like Cynthia gets lost. Dude, Cynthia looks terrifying. She looks like a. She does look terrifying. No, come on, let's let's go. <laughs> it's too late. What? I want to know who that's based off of. I'm obviously Barbie or something, but like in the show, they base dolls off somebody. I want to see what that model is like in the show. That's probably an episode, huh? And then she just has like this shit doll that she doesn't want to like comb her hair. It or looks like, horrible. Or maybe it's some punk rocker. Or some I'm assuming shit. she just tortured it to make it look like that because she's. Yeah. It looks like, like the like someone from a, No Doubt back in the day. Who's that kid? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Quinn Stefani doll. No, Quinn Stefani's cute. What On the shit? His, yeah, but like back in the day, probably that Cynthia look. I've Here's never a comparison. seen her partly bald with just comparison. To, yeah, it's gonna be wrong. It's gonna, be, gonna be right. Be so wrong. <laughs> uh, she probably just tortured that thing. Like, what's that kid from Toy Story that was an asshole? Sid. Uh, they. I'm sure they both grew up and date each other because they're both a bunch of fucking little shits. They did date. And, <laughs> I read that yeah. on uh, E. I saw that on E. True Hollywood story. <laughs> that is Rugrats. No. Afterlife. <laughs> Dude, they went on to do they grown they, ups? They made rope they did grown ups and that didn't work for me. No. And then um they also brought it back CGI and it's not doesn't even feel like Rugrats anymore. Oh yeah, they did, huh? It was horrendous. Boring. I was super excited because I was gonna be like, hey, like show it to my baby. Like this, I grew up with this, now it's your turn. Like, what's up? And I just hated it. It was terrible. I could barely make it through an episode. I don't know if I can do that. It was weird. I know they CGI like SpongeBob and stuff. It's just a whole new writing crew. It's just different. It's not right. Ugh. Ever since those that trio left because like disputes and disagreements, it's just over. Also, okay, so I love this. <laughs> they got babies to curse on TV with Dr. Lipschitz. Like they're just talking about. Oh, yeah, Lipschitz. Tommy's like, you know, Lipschitz says this and Lipschitz says That's that. Right. It's all about. And he's the guy. That's like the Bible to too. The, is it Dee Dee? Dee Dee's the mom. Dee Dee is Angelica's mom? Dee Dee is Tommy's mom. You're right. Dee Dee and Stu. Dee and Stu. Which I don't see them together. I, I don't know what the story is back to, like on that. I don't think they should Dee be Dee's got some hair, man. Dee Dee's got a hair. You weren't going to say that. You were. 
<laughs> you were gonna say something. Stu deserves better. Not nah, wow. Yeah, so does Dee Dee, well. but <laughs> Stu's always in the office or the basement doing his thing. He's and, a toy maker, and she's just. I don't know. I think they both can do better for their. I'd parents. much rather be in their shoes why Tommy's than Angela than Angelica's parents. A hell child. Who, or just assholes to each other waiting to get divorced, I'm sure. Yeah, those parents, no. And then poor Chucky's dad. Chucky doesn't. He's all alone, yeah. man. Well, he gets a mom later. Does he? Yeah. He gets a mom? Yeah, they go out. And get... <laughs> it's the dark episode. That's they the order weird, a wife. That's the weirdest way of saying he's dating. <laughs> he gets oh, a mom. Yeah. He dates. Yeah, Chuck. The, he does have a really disturbing mustache. That thing is really immaculate. By the way. What's the dad's name? Like Chester? That's dumb. I can find out. Check it out. But um, yeah, and then Phil and Lil have their Chaz parents. Chaz Finster. Chaz. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's a cool name. Wait, or is Chaz Brandon Fraser's name and Chaz Angelica's dad though? No, because Chucky Finster. Yeah, it's Chaz. And Helica's parents are probably like Jeff and Bond. And Helica. Ooh, who's Angelica? You just said Angelica. You just made her name hella fancy. It's a fancy show. <laughs> <laughs> just like this one. <laughs> just, just like it. Oh, um, yeah, I don't know. Pass this Passover episode. It's it's just a core memory. I think when I think of Nickelodeon, I think of Passover. The show was epic. It just hit different. You know, this was the first animated show uh, directed for to children to ever even talk about. Uh, Jewish holiday tradition. Really? Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know what else Cat Dog would have done it. No. Dude, that <laughs> opening track to Cat Dog. Oh, one fun day with a wolf and a purr. <laughs> Every Nickelodeon it's, theme it's, song. Angry it, Beavers it's was cool. Great. That show, Dak and Norbert, funniest Beavers Doug was cool. on television. <laughs> Doug was I amazing. Remember their name. Wow. Yeah. Angry Beavers is amazing. It's pretty cool. Doug was great. There was that one episode where he gets scared of that horror movie and he finally watches it. And then, and he's, it's and like he, he's laughing like, about it. What yeah. the fuck? There's a zipper in the back. <laughs> uh, Patty. <laughs> Whose impression was, <laughs> Wait, fucking his, fucking, on his fucking dork friend, uh, Bobby. No, it's Skeeter. Skeeter. <laughs> Bobby. Who the fuck is Bobby? Roger, the bully. Oh, uh, Roger Klotz was, he was a great guy. Great guy. He wasn't Known a great him all guy. My life. He was a jerk. What was his dog's name? Doug's dog. Doug's dog was a uh, Patches. <laughs> Patches. I know that his uh his dog had a name. I don't know what. Quail it is. Man was his alternate ego, right? Yeah, that was his fucking sex role. He just no. I don't know was, what his deal super is. Pretend superhero his role play. It, was, it wasn't a sex role play. <laughs> Nickelodeon's crazy. Him and Patty Mayo after Patty dark. Mayo. <laughs> Fucking snick at night over here. Man, <laughs> Skeet's honking his nose. Stop it. Watching through the window. Don't. Jesus. Bad. This <laughs> just went Stop so it. dark. Yeah, this went to snick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is a holiday, man. Oh, yeah. Holidays. Happy. What's Thanks. your... Do you have any, like, traditions that you do? I... Yeah, I come home... I order from DoorDash and then I sit in my chair and then you know I watch my movies. It's like every night. That's every night. It's tradition. I hope to keep it alive. Come hang out with me, baby boy. I got traditions. It's I, fun. I, no, I got traditions to do. <laughs> so me, Christmas Eve, uh, we all load up in my old man's pickup, right? The whole fam, and we drive around, check out lights, right? Then we come here to my place. Uh, we I've read done that Christmas stories. Yes, you have done that before. I've done that before in my life. We read Christmas stories. We have some snacks, you know, all that stuff. And then, like, Stan's comes, you better go to bed. Shit, you go, go then, hard with family stuff. That, oh, fuck yeah, go hard in the paint. Someone's got Christmas. to do it. Ah, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I go to work, go home, and play Xbox. Christmas. Come over. I got to go to work. <laughs> I got to go home and play Xbox. I, I always watch Christmas morning. I always watch Christmas vacation. For we, sure. Yeah, that's fun. And then uh, Vegas. Christmas morning we go. I'm like, yeah, Christmas is over. We do Santa presents here, and then we go over to my mom's house. Um, and then and then we uh, we do like a dinner thing and stuff after that, like a Thanksgiving sal. What, what are people eating on Christmas? Like ham? We just repeat. Is it, is it the ham? We just repeat like, like Thanksgiving is what we do. 
just leftovers. You just <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, it's from the same a month shit. ago. <laughs> I don't. I think ham is the like tradition. I like ham. I think ham's all right. I prefer I prefer like a good three out of like, five. Tur- it's no I, like ham's good, but I prefer turkey. Yeah, turkey gets bland though. It, turkey has to be like. My mom can make a fucking gourmet. Chef Gordon I Ramsay, tri tip or something. Make some fancy. It's your tradition. You oh can do shit! Yeah, you I'm want. gonna make a new one. All you got to do is do something that you like, and then do it again next year. Boom! You have a tradition. I have traditions. To have a tradition. Anyway, <laughs> Xbox, you don't have. I didn't. Not in that order. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not honoring your tradition. <laughs> Forgive me. To each their own. What are your traditions? Sign off in the comments or. Sign off. Is that how you do it? So, like, comment and then say goodbye. Yeah, and then sign off <laughs> on the out. top right of your web browser. Log out. Get the hell out. Lose your password. password. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Don't get mad uh, at us. I'm a big kid. It's so fun having a little one. You know what I mean? Like, I love spoiling her. Uh, I love. You like Christmas more than Halloween, right? Um, I would say so, but Halloween is goddamn a close second. What's what? What movies are better, Halloween or? Christmas. Usually all specifically holiday themed films are a little shy. You know what I mean? Like I can name 10 of them right now. Halloween one, Halloween two. (laughs) Um, I, uh, I guess Christmas is like, I guess it just depends on your mood. Absolutely. Cause everybody's depressed. Halloween's awesome. I wait till after (laughs) I wait till after Thanksgiving's completely done. None of that Walmart store shit. Right. And uh, I try to wait till December 1st to even watch Christmas movies. <clears throat> but like, what's some, what's some like banging Christmas movies for you? Like for me. Jim all the way. Yeah, I know you love that movie. It's final it's, answer. It's so ridiculous. Jim all the way. Christmas with the cranks. Uh, Sinbad goes the, I don't yeah, know. Those are all fucking subpar. <laughs> Christmas with the movie. Cranks is an amazing movie. It's not that good. Yes, it is. Uh, so, uh, Tim <laughs> Allen. Yeah. Hello. And you didn't choose the Santa Claus. Oh, it's, yeah. Santa you Claus. chose Christmas. Santa with Claus the one. Instead. Yes. Santa just Claus one. one. Just one. Two Elf? is weird. Oh, Elf. Yeah. I guess I throw that on sometimes. A Christmas Story. Oh yeah, that that's a movie. <laughs> that's a hundred percent a movie. Put off red nosed reindeer. The Grinch. I haven't seen one of those stop motion animated things in so long. They're not that stiff. Like, <laughs> um, I it's have awesome. like Jack what? Frost, the horror movie, or Jack Frost with Michael Keaton. No, it's Michael Keaton. No, it's Michael Keaton is like an actual Christmas movie. No, and that's an actor. The horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack Frost with Michael Keaton. Is, is it Michael Keaton? Yes. Okay, I was thinking. The horror movie is else. not starring Michael Keaton. No, that stars like Nadia from American Pie. Um, Does it? Yeah, she's in it. She's got a shower scene where she dies. Spoiler. Fuck. I know everybody was going to watch it. My bad. <laughs> it's 20 years old. <laughs> My bad. Um, I think, did we cover Jack Frost? No. Weird. Oh, we did a kill. For Halloween. Oh, with yeah. Jack, 31, with the one I was just talking about. Halloween. Shit. Yeah. Flashbacks. Christmas is dope. Hey, do you know if you wanted to cover Jack Frost, we could. Nope. All you gotta do is go to kingsofkillpodcast.com and request your episode today. I'm not requesting shit. Although I want to. Do it. Okay. Or tell me. You're here. I, I request. Jack Frost now, though. This is the My Christmas special. wish is to do... If fuck, you, I should have thought of this. It's to do fuck. I should have thought of this. I don't care. I don't want to do it anymore. What? I don't want to request for Christmas. Well, well I'm, I was going to say, if you do make a Christmas grant, we have to do it, like, now. We have to end the show. With them, oh, like, yeah. Like, we're out of time. Like, the year's over. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Like, I don't know if you know <laughs> this, but it's Christmas, and then it's New Year's, which means it's a new year, and it's no longer Christmas. Damn it. I should have thought of this. Whatever. I'm over it. I feel like such a badass. I put so the whole house is decorated. I love it. Everything's holly and jolly. Put lights up. You know, baby's like, this made me feel like a 
fucking man, man. She's like, it's beautiful. I'm like, you damn right, baby. Damn right it is. Five out of five, Christmas in here. <laughs> you just look. You just... <laughs> Christmas. This is Christmas spirit in this. Christmas song. I feel so are you it. into like Christmas carols and stuff? Dude, I hate when the radio is just like, we're Christmas station for now. For three months or fucking I just two. want one station to do a Christmas. One thing. is it. fine. That's but it. When, when you're like, listen to like anything, I guess. And then it's just like Christmas song, Christmas song, three rock songs. Some are sweet though. Like, Christmas. come on, you, you screwed. It's you fine. Jingle Bell Rock. I guess Christmas makes you feel warm and comfy. So that's dope. Maybe it's cold outside. I don't like that song. Zoe Deschanel. Santa Claus is coming like, to yeah. town. That's a cool jam. When Springsteen does it. It's a good one. I think the OG is better. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are you ASMRing your your, your anger? You're fucking crazy. <laughs> you can talk to the boss that way. Whatever. Should I rate this? Yeah, probably. So cinematography was great the actors were great in it why do you keep saying cinematography this it was beautifully shot, shot like, well it was a camera on, above a still it was on like, set like at, it's an animation shot in bolivia it's hand, it was crazy none of this is accurate i don't know it, it was a beautifully made film well written I, give, I haven't given you one womp because it's christmas and you that just, is so good and you were just hurting my feelings left and right <laughs> this was the masterpiece for the rugrats um, you think so? You think this is the best episode? I don't think so, but I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Saying shit you know is not true. You don't even believe it. This, this is why you're on the naughty list. This episode four Rugrats is a four and a half out of five. Oh, score, it's man. pretty up there, but it's not the best one. When they go to Reptar and Ice, that was badass. Oh, it's a tie on that one. Those Reptar's dope. Damn it. I fucking did that, huh? Like better than Godzilla, you know what I'm Shit. saying? I'm sorry. Godzilla! I said it wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Four and a half out of five. Tom Pickles, Angelica, and Chuck were amazing <laughs> actors in this and actresses. That's all I got. All right. Reptar <laughs> versus Godzilla versus Cone. Versus Conan? Kong. Yeah, Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Conan O'Brien wins. God. He'll write them out of the action. It's the weirdest fight ever. Giant monster, uh, no, you're giant not. cartoon dinosaur, <laughs> Conan O'Brien. All fight. <laughs> Kong. Kong will win. Kong. Wasn't a gorilla one of the Beast Wars things? Yeah. One of them was a gorilla? Yeah. I think his name was Bob or something. I really doubt his name was Bob. Let's just pretend for fucking Christmas. <laughs> it's Bob. Uh, I want to thank all of our killer fans. Is thank Christmas you so much. Over? For... No, it's not. It's over. This is before Christmas. This is over. Get Holly. We're going back Get to Jolly. normal after Get this. Mary. Yeah, but, let's, are, we, we do one holiday special a year. This man. episode's over. <laughs> thank you all so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. It's fucking hot. <laughs> Taking this off. <laughs> I have a shirt underneath. We're going back. Oh, to, baby. We're going back to normal. Play some music. Come on. No music being played right it. now. Fuck I'm it. like being electrocuted right now. You're I'm like you're God damn it. Stripping on camera. Everything for the views, guys. Anything for the views. We'll do it all here. What shirt do you have on? Oh, we're going back to normal. This is the most inappropriate <laughs> shirt for Christmas. We're going back to normal. God, Christmas is over. Son of a bitch. Rugrats is great. Oh, humbug to you, bro. Passover for all. <laughs> Until all, good night! <laughs>